it's Rebecca from Liquid Stitchery. I'm here today processing the first clip we got from our mohair goats. Well, Angora goats, so mohair from Angora goats. Um, so I'm gonna take you outside. We're gonna see the goats get sheared, which, or at least get, see one of them get sheared. I'll show you what they looked like before they were sheared and after, um, and show you the other goats too, because we have two others that when we bought them were already sheared. So we didn't shear those two, and then two we had to get sheared. Um, and then we'll just start working on processing the mohair. So we have to wash it, dye it. Because of, let's see if I can hold this a little bit more steady. Because of the circumstances of how we got the goats, uh, the mohair is not as high a quality this clip as it's going to be in future clips. So I'm probably going to be combing it or possibly carting it into bats depending on how long it is, um, as opposed to selling it as intact locks. But we'll, we'll see. So we're gonna have to sort it, wash it, all that good stuff. So um, I'm gonna go put the baby in his carrier and head out to the barn. And I will see you in a moment. Hello. Hello, goatlings. Let's see. Fiona. Darwin. Yeah, you guys need to be shorn really bad. <laughs> Today's the day.
There's no inside. It's so nice out. You can just push through that door. Violet, what is with you? <laughs> you just embarrassed her naked. You see your brothers over there in the hidey hole. And the little ones here, those are Vegas and Peony. Blackhorns is Vegas. Uh, Whitehorns is Peony. What's your problem? I'm gonna go start washing your fleece, okay? You okay with that? All right. <laughs> also, while I'm here, this is Princess and Sadie. They're not Angora goats, obviously. They are milking goats. mohair has gone through being washed twice. Uh, there was a lot of soaking really more than washing so it soaked for quite a few hours um, basically overnight. So I'm going to be transferring some of it to an ice dye bath and just take advantage of the heat and then the rest we're going to be dyeing semi-solid inside the house. So I'm just going to get that set up. going to finish up the video for this time around. Uh, I'm still working on dyeing up all the mohair. Now, after I did that last, well, not last, that single batch of ice dyed, I am going to be working on getting all the rest of it kettle dyed, probably one or two batches a night because I don't have a huge amount of downtime, um, and just get some semi-solids going until my cones come and I can finish processing because there was a lot of uh, vegetable matter and 
wood chip bits and uh, frankly some scurf. So we're going to have a lot to comb out, like a lot. So I can't really go any farther on processing other than dye work until my combs come. So hopefully the fall clip will be better. Um, the goats that we had sheared weren't ours until roughly two months ago, maybe a month and a half ago. It was not long, like not long at all. And most of their clip this time around was grown before they came to us. So we're hoping now that they're on the correct minerals and the correct diet and they have more room to walk around outside and more forage space that we'll be able to control the quality of their fur, not fur, hair, I guess. Their locks, let's go with that. Their locks better. And then we also have the other goats as well. So um, so the two we have we got first that we had sheared, that's Darwin and Violet. And for some reason I'm constantly calling her Fiona, but it's Violet, I don't know why. And then the two younger ones, there's Peony, which is my sister's goat. And Vegas is the first one that me and Mike bought. So Vegas is me and Mike's goat. He's a weather. He has broken horns because he got his head stuck when he was a baby and I really like him, he's sweet. And then we have two more coming in June. So we got, we're getting a pair of twin does, dolings, I guess, when we pick them up. So there'll be a black one and a brown one. The black one is me and Mike Scoped and he named her Licorice. And the brown one is my sister and her husband's goat and they're naming her Cadbury. So when those actually get here and are settled in a little bit more, I'll do a little quick follow-up video showing them. But I'm very excited to have colorful mohair in the fall. So that'll be fun. Oh, honey, it's okay. So I'm gonna have to cut this video off now because he's starting to wake up. But thank you so much for watching and I hope to see y'all again soon.